What's up guys? It's Molly. I'm here to bring you a channeled message. Let's see who this is for. I'm already in the flow, guys, so anything I say from now on is part of your message. Who's this for? Whatever card lays on whatever deck is what we're going to use. Whoa, Libra, you shot out and you shot closest to this deck. Whoa, and this card shot out when I put that on you. Ooh, Libra, somebody is manifesting. All right. Hi, Libra. My name is Molly. I am a clairaudient, intuitive empath. I'm just going to move all these decks out of the way here. What I'm going to do is just shuffle out a message. The cards will jump on their own, and we'll just see what spirit wants you to know. Oh, look at this. This card from the antique anatomy hung around. Let's see what this is telling us. The seven of coins. All right, Libra. There may be something that uh, you had been waiting on for a long time. You were your person. Somebody has looked at it from all angles, all points of view. Uh, they may be ready to manifest something now. Somebody is tired of waiting. Okay. Uh, lilac wine. Okay. I lost myself on a cool, damp night. Ooh. Gave myself in that misty light. Ooh. Was hypnotized by a strange delight. Ooh. Under the lilac tree. I made wine from the lilac tree, mm, put my heart in its recipe, mm, it makes me see what I want to see, and be who I want to be, mm, when I think more than I want to think. Do things I never should do. Whoa. I drink more than I ought to drink because it brings me back to you. Lilac wine mm, is sweet and heady like my love. Mm, mm, I feel unsteady. Where's my love? Listen to me. Why is everything so hazy? Isn't that he? Or I'm just going crazy. Okay. Ooh, Libra. I had uh, Nina Simone, Lilac Wine, uh, talking to me there. All right, all right. I'll put that song in the comments. It's important that you listen to it. It's part of your message. My uh, readings are interactive. Uh, make sure that you click subscribe before you click any links that I post down in the comments so you can find your way back. All right, all right, all right. Libra, Libra, Libra. What are we showing at the bottom of the deck? Ooh, 
hot shit. Yeah, that's my hot shit card. This dude is hot shit. Yes, victorious, triumphant, successful. All right. You, uh, somebody may think, uh, hold you in high regard. They may think you're a very creative, passionate person. Uh, this could be either you or your person. You just got to work it out. All right. This is also uh, an old card for the wedding march. All right. So somebody may... Uh, uh, Okay, somebody uh, may have met a divine counterpart, somebody that they were possibly married to in a past life. All right. Um, somebody may have realized this. It caused a tower for that, a tower moment for this person. Okay. Um. This person had some sort of spiritual awakening. They had a huge epiphany, all right? They may have remembered uh, this past life connection, all right? We have the star coming in, all right? Um, this was healing energy. We have the ten of coins, okay? Uh, the two of cups. Yeah, this was totally some sort of past life recognition, Uh that somebody is now realizing. All right. Uh, they may have drank the lilac wine, okay. Uh, lilacs may mean something. This person may drink wine. Uh, you may hear from them if they get buzzed or something like that. All right. This person took a really good look. There was something that had, uh, there was a seed that had been planted quite a long time ago. Uh, the person wasn't ready to drink the wine yet. The wine wasn't ready yet, okay. Uh, this person now sees an opportunity, all right. They're at the crossroads right now. Where's my love? Okay. All right. Listen to me. Why is everything so hazy? Okay. Isn't that he? Or am I just going crazy? Okay, so somebody wants to manifest whatever they have been watching for a long time. They're ready to go on this adventure, and uh, they're trying. To, they're going to try to manifest it. Okay. We will clarify these two. We have somebody showing up working really hard. This person may be thinking about this all the time at work. They may be working hard for the pinnacle to make some money, to make this dream come true, to be able to go on, on this adventure, okay? I think it's this person. Is This is the same person. This person wants to be the king of wands. He wants to go after this grand adventure. He does feel the passion inside. He's thinking how to do it. There may be some sort of finances involved. There, be, there may be another person uh, in the mix. Uh, this person just kind of hangs out in the background. It could be somebody, could be married, it could be their husband. Uh, but this person... Uh, There's just like nothing, nothing is there. The vines have grown all over him. He may not participate in, in uh, this Queen of Wands life very much or something like that. Or it's this person who's still working on their pentacle and they haven't made really any moves yet because they're seriously working on the pentacle and they want to bump up. It's like, I wonder if I should work on the pentacle and... Uh, Get all this passion for this person. I think they're hot. I think I, I have a chemistry with this person. I like them. Uh, yeah, I think I might want to provide for them. Um, I wonder if we'd ever be married. Something like that. All 
Okay. We have somebody showing up. They're watching something. Okay. They may be looking at this person's pictures. They may be watching videos of this person. Whoever it is, they're watching videos of this person right here. Uh, the Queen of Wands, that is uh, this divine connection here. Both of these people have wild uh, passion for each other, <laughs> all right? There is definitely a chemistry. He's looking at her, and she, her head is tilted so she can look at him. Uh, they both have great ideas. She's very abundant at making these ideas happen. He's seeing this now, all right? Um, some people may think she's some sort of bad luck or something, but I think they misunderstand her. All right. Uh, so he may come over. He may be, uh, feeling the urge to send, he may be watching something and then feeling the urge to say, uh, hey, I want to come to you or come to me, uh, get in their car and drive over or something along that line. Because they are re recognizing that this is a Six of Cups relationship. This is a past life relationship. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That's why everything is so hazy. All right. And uh, you feel drunk in love because this is uh, a serious soulmate connection from a past life. All right. This divine connection was probably married in a past life. Uh, that's what the hermit wants you to know. This may be a twin flame journey. Uh, I see the 1111. All right. He's shining his light on the four of wands. Okay. This is also a card for marriage, a card for commitment, stability, home, twin flames, 1111, coming together, celebrations, weddings. And the hermit is shining his light on this. All right, somebody may be really thinking about this. And somebody has decided that they want to go from one place to another, and where they're heading to is their Ace of Cups. They are going for uh, their love, their lilac wine love, the, the love that makes them drunk in love. Uh, they may not feel ready. Uh, but uh, will they ever be ready? <laughs> That's the question somebody had been asking for this long. Am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Okay. They're realizing that they're ready. Okay. This person may physically move from one place to another. All right. Somebody may have a child. Okay. All right. So let's uh, clarify a little bit. Uh, all right. I have. Let's see what we have for the magician, the seven of coins, and the two of wands for Libra. What does the magician, the seven of coins, and the two of wands have to tell Libra? Oh my gosh, Libra, that flew. Okay, I'm going to go get that one, Libra. Okay, here we go. All right. Somebody is watching. The masculine is watching. Uh, they, they understand now that this is a divine connection. Okay. Um, I think they're, like, trying to figure out how to provide for this feminine. Okay. Uh, tell me what the Eight of Pentacles for Libra means, please. Eight of Pentacles for Libra. Can I get more, please? Can you want more, please? Okay. Somebody's stressed out. Uh, all they can think about at work is how they had been asleep to the spiritual connection. Uh, they hadn't acknowledged it when it came around. All right. Uh, they're kind of obsessing about it at work. All right. What does the King of Wands have to tell Libra, please?
Okay, he wants to plug the fan in. Okay, so what the fan is, is just like kind of stagnant energy. Like everything is on pause. And once this King of Wands decides, and the King of Wands, he actually gets up and goes and gets what he's looking for. Uh, so, or what he wants. He'll use that wand to heave himself up and go and plug in this fan. And so what he wants is to plug in the fan and that will get all the energy moving and starting to flow again. All right, so it's, it's like he wants to start something. All right. What does the King of Pentacles have to tell Libra? King of Pentacles? Okay. Okay, so this feminine may be dealing with a low vibe and son of a bitch. All right. Uh, she may be married to a low vibe and son of a bitch. Uh, she may be dealing with somebody who sticks their nose in everybody's business and they think they know what's going on, but they don't know what's going on. All right. Uh, she's, she's thriving though. She is showing up as a creative, uh, soul, somebody who, uh, it's like she has her bonnet on so she doesn't have to look at him. But he keeps his eye on her. Look at it. He's totally on her, on her case. Yeah, I get it. He's on her case. And she's just in her own space trying to do uh, creative things and leave all that low vibe in behind her. She wants to leave it behind her as she goes forward. Okay. But this is the low vibe and son of a bitch. See him? All right. Yes. Okay. What does the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Cups have to tell Libra? Okay. There may be a toxic masculine energy that somebody's dealing with. Okay, the feminine may be dealing with it. She may be a mother. Um, or the masculine was dealing with a toxic... Okay, maybe that's it too. The masculine was dealing... Either... Okay, so either... the. Can I get one more, please? I'll figure this out. Okay. Okay, so this feminine has a very big burden. She has some sort of masculine energy in her life. Maybe her husband. Maybe this low vibe and son of a bitch. Uh, they may be a narcissist. That's my narcissist card. Uh, all right. So uh, she may be trying to put up a gate between, uh, she may know, okay, so she may have a kid with this person, and she may be trying to put up a gate between this person and herself. All right. This is like a, uh, I think this is like a separate entity that she's dealing with. Okay, this is not the King of Wands at all. Okay, and it's a big burden for her. All right. What does the Four of Wands and the Hermit have to tell Libra? Four of Wands and the Hermit. Okay, Libra. See how that landed right on your card? The Hermit wants Libra to listen to Jiminy Cricket on their shoulder. Jiminy Cricket will always lead them the right way. All right, do what your gut tells you. Go where you wanna be, the place that makes you feel the happiest, the most special. You have some sort of special gift, Libra, that is exciting and enticing to people. All right. Uh, the Hermit wants you to be able to use that gift in a fun and interesting way, all right. And that's where your home should be, where you can use your gift in a fun and interesting way and you feel like you are on uh, the right path. 
Okay. What is the Six of Swords uh, going from rocky waters into calmer waters, going from one place to another, possibly even moving, and moving toward this new love, this Ace of Cups? All right. Libra. Okay, somebody's ready to uh, strike the match. You you may have to travel. Uh, somebody may ask you to travel. All right. But they are ready to strike the match. The person may live uh, at a distance from you. Okay, can I get one more? Somebody may be feeling guilty about popping off on you. They feel like uh, they may have had a temper before in the past. All right. They've realized that's low vibing behavior. All right. And now they have found some sort of happiness. All right. It is the masculine. Here he is right here. He wants, he's trying to think about how to turn this blurry happiness into a more... Uh, Complete and uh, real happiness. All right. So it looks like he had kind of a change of a mind. Okay. He had been drinking the lilac wine in the past. It made him feel unsteady and hazy. Okay. But he spent a lot of time at home. He spent a lot of time thinking about what he wants. He wants abundance in his life. He wants fulfillment. He sees abundance with this other person. Yes, because they are the prize at the carnival. Okay, so he sees this feminine as the prize at the carnival. He sees this feminine as uh, uh, the special prize that not everybody gets. Okay, everything good. All right. The big stuffed banana that you walk around with at the carnival and everybody says, hey, look. He got the big stuff banana. Okay. I see uh, a life-size banana stuffed animal <laughs> that he is totally thrilled with. Okay. All right. So, Libra, there is your message. All right. Let's see what uh, the universe has to say to close it out for you. All right, Libra. What does the universe want Libra to know? Final message. Lilac wine. Libra, I'll put that song in the comments for you. All right. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Mm-hmm. Yep. That butterfly effect. Uh, anything you do uh, does help with the energy around you. It changes, it moves it. And it is really empowering to know that you can create peace in the world. Mm -hmm. All right, Libra. Lilac wine. There it is. <laughs> All right. Love you, Libra. If you like how I read, please hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate a like. It helps me. Uh, and uh, it also helps the video get in the algorithm a little bit more. Uh, if you'd like to cruise my Etsy shop, there's all sorts of neat decks that I saw there, gifts, jewelry, art, all sorts of stuff. There's a link right in the description. All right, Libra. Cheers. Love ya.